Uh, for the slim and light, the USB cables have a, a different function, or not different, but it has an alternate function. When it's in USB mode, uh, it can charge through the USB cable and like the original PSP, but it takes like five hours, so I'd probably just go with the standard AC adapter. Um, now for part two, here we have uh, right on my PSP we have a uh, the Hori. Um, I guess it would be just a case over the PSP, which is pretty nice. Uh, when I turn on the PSP, it's hardly noticeable unless say it's like dust on it, which can kind of tick me off. Um, got little cutouts for the, the speakers. These buttons are accessible. These ones aren't as accessible, but it's bearable. Um, I, I just don't like the feeling of the plastic height matching up with the button height. All these buttons are accessible down here. The video, um, video, blah, blah, blah. video, audio port is accessible, so is the AC point, the power, the USB port up here, one LAN switch, um, the US UMD door is accessible too. You gotta pull it out from the PSP's UMD door, not this little cutout that they made for you. Uh, the person who I talked to about it, they recommended taking it out from the PSP UMD door. And it comes out fine. It's protected like that. The only thing that isn't accessible is the you memory, the memory stick port, which I guess they decided that it wouldn't be accessed that much, so they just block it off. Um, it's not that big of a deal, unless you like have a billion as a memory stick duels. Uh, another feature that isn't really widely advertised is the it's got a little stand back here this feels kind of cheap but it's there um, to see the screen I guess you have to kind of crouch down or unless you like display something higher than you but overall it's pretty decent I guess it's a selling point and it just picks Clicks right on the case. Perfect. Um, f with this, I don't really think you would need a screen protector because it pretty much protects it itself. I also got a Hori, Hori uh, air, uh, pouch for the PSP. Um, it, I think it supports both the original PSP and the PSP Slim and Light. I use it for my PSP Slim and Light holds one UMD too and when it's in there it's pretty comfortable it's pretty tight tight fit and I think it's well padded so it won't shake around in there or break anything also um, the one thing I forgot to mention for my original PSP is uh, the wrist strap um, I guess any wrist strap would do but a wrist strap would probably be um, recommended because for safety because you don't want to drop this um, yeah because it's pretty expensive itself and one another unique feature about the PlayStation Portable is the or the PSP Slim and Light is the audio video cable so as I will display right here the audio video display cable the PSP component cables uh, they also sell the D terminal cables and the composite cables composite cables are for the standard yellow white um, red cables but the, the one thing that it does not do for the PlayStation Portable is it does not play games um, the games can only be output in progressive scan, so you need an HD TV and the component cables. So we'll stick this.
cable right here in the port. Display settings. So we go there. Switch video output. Yes. Do you want to display the video output on a connected device? You can go back to displaying video output through the system by turning the system on and off. Yes. It's transparent. And we have connection to my TV, which is very nice. Or big boy. And this, yeah, yeah, I do like that. Also has some features, other features. Um, you can select your TV type, uh, whether it's progressive or interlaced, and a screensaver. Uh, there isn't much other media crossbar differences. Hmm. Now for games, games only uh, display at their original resolution, which is like 270 rather than 480. So the game screen is kind of sized down. I wish you can kind of like zoom in or something, but well, it, it's not that big of a deal unless you have a kind of small TV like mine. Mine's only 19 inch. So yeah, we're going in. So you can see the black borders around. Kind of sucks, but you can deal with it as long as it doesn't kill the frame rate or anything or the graphics. So he's Tekken Dark Resurrection. Let's give you a quick graphical look at it. Uh, let's go to a quick battle. Sure, why not? Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Yep. Okay, hello. I'll be for um... Power. Power. I'll just verse myself. Get ready for the next battle. Also, when it's connected to the TV, it's not... It doesn't and display on the PSP at all. Round one. See it? Everything's smooth here. Getting my butt kicked because I'm trying to play with one hand. <laughs> yeah, pretty basic stuff. Oh, that game sucks. Alright, so you got to quit the game. Also, when you're controlling the audio, you got to control it through these. You can't control it with the audio settings here. You got to control it through the, your TVs speakers um the one thing is the movies and the uh the pictures display at full 4080p so that's that's nice i don't have any movies or anything on me right now but i guess i can show that later and yeah that's that's about it the only other difference about the psp slim and light and the original psp is the added ram I guess I could show that later with the comparison between the, both the PSP and the PSP slim loading times, but I don't have a, I don't have two <coughs> identical games, so I'm just gonna have to pretty much play them at or yeah, sure. Um, so if you're in this mode and you want to switch back, just press the screen button and it will revert back to your PSP screen you can pull the plug out yeah I'm just going to leave it in there so yeah that's pretty much it PSP Slim and Light overview what's the differences and the accessories so yep we Oh, that's where my 360 used to be. Poor, poor 360. Being occupied by all these accessories. <laughs>